out there. It is Charlotte and Daryl. We're the Bakers. We're on the move in the Baker Studios. And we wanted to just do another shout out. First of all, to say hello, hello, hello. We've been working and working on some things, but we wanted to make sure that you are aware of our fitness component that we added last week to adding um, to make sure you're enriching your marriage so we wanted to really focus on that to make sure and if you need details about that consider joining us but if you need details go to our YouTube channel marriage enrichment the bakers and you can find out more details or you can go to our blog at enriching your marriage blog wordpress.com so we just wanted to encourage you in that because we think it's very important for you to focus on your body soul and spirit the totality of your being and as an individual and as a couple together, what do you say? Yes, absolutely. So the the other area that we really want to focus on during this segment was talking about prayer and marriage. Prayer. Yes, Need because a little of, more prayer. <laughs> He's looking at me. I like a little comedy this morning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so prayer is essential, and it's essential in marriage. It's essential. One of the things that the Lord has revealed to me is, is about the intimacy of prayer and marriage, uh, because um, prayer is, is a sacred thing between you and your Heavenly Father. And when you really are being sincere and really being real with your Heavenly Father, you're able to pray about things that really touches your soul or touches your life, or you really come into a place where you're completely being real and honest. Okay, so when you're talking about praying for your spouse in that area, now you're able to be intimate because of the fact that you're communicating at another level. You're opening up your soul, you're opening up your your ability to to seek for answers and seek for solutions that many times those solutions are only gonna come forth by really being sincere, being honest with yourself, and also having someone else to pray for you in those areas that sometimes you may not be able to pray for yourself in some particular areas. And so the intimacy of prayer is so significant and it allows you to open yourself up and the love would begin to increase because of the fact that you're, you're connecting at such a greater level and not just at a surface level. So what do and, you think? and I think that's important because when you think about scripture says pray without ceasing because it says the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Those are two different scriptures. The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open to their prayer. So if you're praying without ceasing, God hears us, not just individually, but as a couple. And I think that synergy, that connection that you develop through prayer. And when we're talking about prayer, of course, we know people are going to say, well, I'm busy. Okay, first of all, prayer is, is not negotiable. It has to be a part of your marriage, but you have to find ways to do it. So if that means getting up 30 minutes earlier, or if that means staying up 30 minutes later, and we really kind of suggest that couples that are really, really busy with little kids and things like that, we suggest that they do it preferably in the morning before everything gets going which I think is a good point, like 10, 15 minutes, just to pray a covering. So the husband pray a covering and vice versa. The wife pray over um, her husband and her children. And I think that that's a way to build that um, synergy, like I said, together. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah, because of the fact that busy lives basically require you to have... Mm -hmm. Require you to have... To ha re require you to have focus right because yes. you're because your time is so limited okay and so and with limited time that means that you you are really are are very productive because of your the 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 time frames that you have to get things done right mm -hmm. so what better way of really seeking the lord and asking god for directions in reference to starting your day especially when you're uh, so busy that you have so many responsibilities and you don't want to miss those opportunities of being able to get them done and also it can it can help alleviate uh, levels of stress as well because when you're busy sometimes you're thinking about what you can do how you can do it and not incorporating other resources to help get it done and so prayer basically gives you an avenue to seek guidance seek counseling and seek help from from your heavenly father and prayer is also a way to keep down those little tactics of the enemy that will try to because his goal is of course always to bring division in the traditional marriage 
and so he will find little ways to nitpick if you allow it because sometimes you'll miss things like you said because of life all the challenges schedules things that we have to do we can we can get agitated can we say agitated? i mean this is real stuff okay so we're talking about real stuff some people have you believe oh we're you know we're in the faith and we're believers and we don't have no that that's not true you're gonna have challenges okay that's why the scripture always admonishes us to pray without ceasing again because <laughs> you need it to renew your mind a lot of different things because we are in human bodies and we deal with human things that's the real deal okay so prayer is another way to combat uh, things that may happen or things that have happened that will cause there to be some um, irritation or an attempt to divide a husband and a wife maybe on something really simple yeah like what we're gonna wear today Right. <laughs> so we think prayer as a, is, as a point of reference for what we were dealt right. with this morning. Okay, <laughs> it was quite hilarious, but we had to pray at the end and be like, okay, seriously, it was kind of kind of funny. But anyway, prayer is a way again to bring you closer together. So we really want to challenge you. That's all we wanted to say today. Really challenge you to incorporate prayer. Some people say that's real simple, that's real basic, but some people are not doing the basic and simple things. Okay, yeah. that's real. So pray every day. Yes, pray on your own, but definitely pray with your spouse. I think it's important. And you can pray on your own, even when you're at your office, you know, under, you know, under your breath. But with your spouse, is limited because you're going two different directions. So is that what all we want to say? Just well, pray, even, pray, pray, pray. Even Together. that, even that. Well, with technology, you do FaceTime, you do, you can do uh, yeah, Skype live. That's you can, good. you can pray, uh, you know, going two different directions. That's call each other let's let's have a word, word of prayer my wife and i we've done that many many mm -hmm. many times mm -hmm. and 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 it's important to keep up that synergy it's important to stay on track it is absolutely important to making sure uh that you are staying connected because it is so easy to get off track it's so easy to pick up uh an offense and mm -hmm. then you're operating out of that offense and many times you don't even know know the source of that and you start yes. You start, you know, uh, being agitated against each other or having simple misunderstandings or miscommunications mm -hmm. just because of a word, you know, that was spoken that get that that reminded you of a hurt or a pain mm -hmm. of a past. And now you're you're rehearsing that. But, you know, you know, if you keep the communication lines open and continue to pray and casting down those evil, wicked imaginations of the enemy and bringing into captivity the thoughts of Christ Jesus into your marriage, into your relationship, and also making sure that you are taking responsibilities for your actions and then asking forgiveness when forgiveness is absolutely necessary, you know, to, to be asked of, uh, of your spouse, right? And so there's so many things that we can do to improve our relationship and, and improve our communication with one another and prayer is one of those things that help keep us in a place that we are pliable, that we are submitted, that we are committed, and that we are sensitive to the things that our spouse are dealing with. And I think I'm going to end with this, this that just came to mind. So when you think about it, it's a real simplistic example, but when you think about a cake, right, you have all these different ingredients that you need in order to make that cake be the, like this wonderful, perfect, well not perfect, but wonderful, great cake at the end, right? Same thing with a marriage. You want to pour in and put in the right ingredients, and one of those ingredients is prayer. Um, and so if you don't have that, Think about the cake. If you if you miss some flour or some sugar, your cake could come out lopsided. Hello. Do you want to have a lopsided relationship? No, because prayer is an important ingredient that you can never leave out. It's a daily thing, just like a cake. If you leave out again that major thing, it's gonna not it's not gonna be right in the end. So we want to, as always, our goal is to help encourage you as engaged couples, as married couples, whether you've been married five years or twenty-five years, to make sure, remind you, if you didn't know, and then if you do know, just as a reminder, that today prayer we're talking about is one of the key components. So we challenge you to do that, and we just want to say a quick prayer over everyone. But before we do, we want to again encourage you to join us on our fitness component. 
go to our YouTube channel, Marriage Enrichment the Bakers. You can find out details or again, go to our blog at www.enrichingyourmarriageblog.wordpress.com. You'll find information. Again, if you have comments or questions about any of the things we've talked about, when you look at our YouTube channel, you'll see all our past videos, things we've talked about, and we got some new things coming out real soon, don't we, honey? Yes, we do. And we're going to say, shh, we're not going to tell you. Right yet. <laughs> shh. It's kind of a secret, but we got some new things coming out. So with that being said, we just want to say a quick word of prayer. Again, we're in the Baker Studios on the move. And so do you want to say, sweetheart? Yes. Okay. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for each and every couple. We thank you for the marriages. We thank you, Lord God, even for the engaged couples. We thank you, Lord God, that you have even established the institution of marriage and that is your way of repopulating the earth and and god that you have also established a family in the institution of marriage god we pray for those marriages we pray father for those lord god that are experiencing difficulties and and father the ones that even don't know how to pray and don't know how to where to begin to pray i pray that you would Lord, that you would touch their hearts. Father, that you would begin to breathe upon them, that you would let your word be established in their hearts. And Father, that they would begin to let your word come forth out of their spirits. And God, that they may be able to communicate that with you, that you may be able to move on their behalf and break every assignment, break the powers of bondage, break the powers of separation, divisions, break the powers and the assignment, Lord God, of divorce. In Jesus' precious name, we pray, Father, for the unity. We pray, Father, for your for your divine order for the yes. divine manifestation of reconciliation god that healing may begin to take place in the lives of marriages that men father will begin to humble themselves and and again begin to accept the responsibility responsibilities of being lord god the covering for their families yes. and god that the women father god that the lord god the wives will begin to become subject and god that they will begin to be the help me that you have ordained ordained for them to be get to become the help meet for their for their husbands in the name of Jesus we pray father even for children Lord God we pray father for the manifestation of healing to take place in the lives of children Lord God in marriages in the families in the family structure in Jesus precious name God we ask in you that you will let the power of your grace the power of your mercy the power of your love, God, be made manifest, and God, that healing will begin in the lives of these marriages and the lives of your people in the matchless, magnificent, glorious, exuberant name of Jesus Christ, which is above every name. Amen. Amen. I mean, I think that said it all. So we're going to end it with that. So again, go to our YouTube channel, Marriage Enrichment, The Bakers. I'm going to keep plugging that. Find out any details you may need to know about our fitness uh, component. And also any of the other videos that we have listed. Feel free to go there and don't forget to what? Subscribe. Please subscribe to our channel. Make sure you share it with those who may be in need. And we will be talking to you soon. So we admonish you to have a great day. Wherever you are, whatever time zone. And we will talk to you again soon. You agree? I agree. All right. So we're going to sign off like we always do. I'm Charlotte. I'm Daryl. And we are the Makers. Peace. Peace.